Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be covering the Wind Disc Classic. This car was released as part of the Drip Feed content for the Southern San Andreas Super Sport update. You can find this car on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. It sold for about $360,000. This is an interior view of the Winnie Issy Classic and its stock form. Pretty basic. You get a nice wood finish on the dash and the steering wheel, as well as that Winnie logo on the center. Everything seems to be pretty basic. However, so let's get this thing over to Los Santos to check out the customization. Guys, let's get into the customization options that are available for this vehicle. The black and trimmed is actually changing right around the windows as well as on the on the lights in the back, as well as features on the front of the vehicle. These essentially just change the color of the trim to primary or secondary. These are the front bumper options. We have quite a few options. Let's check out the rear options that we have. Little mud guards there carbon bumper combination of both we have a nice little race splitter and we got those mud flops yet again let's see what the chassis upgrades is and well we have some lights on the front I hope those lights work covered covered in the secondary carbon sheet interior so that just removes our wooden finish and changes it to carbon we have a sticker bomb version we have a stripped race interior let's check out the exhaust that removes our turn signals and puts exhaust in place of them this one just changes the tip but it's actually located in the same place. This inserts a double exhaust right under the number plate. Same thing, just carbon tipped. Same thing, just yet you have a case around it. This gives a side exhaust, which looks pretty nice. That puts one big exhaust in the back. Also changes the whole rear panel double of that which is pretty nice <laughs> we got quad exhaust on this little guy so much power we need to have those four exhausts guys got some side arches both in primary and secondary as well as carbon the usual thing really sticker bomb widened arches but however with these widened arches the wheels themselves don't come out more so it looks kind of weird Rockstar you should probably adjust those so the girls check out the hood options we can completely remove the hood and look at that meaty beefy engine in there it's pretty powerful guys for 
performance. Uh, have a little expose there, filter. Try filter. Whoa, we got a blow in a mini, guys. Let's check out deliveries. It's out the pinstripe as well as the word Winnie on the sides and the rear. Also adds a thin stripe line on the roof as well. We have some ice stripes. This adds a checker finish to the roof as well as the sides. Track day number, position your, your number as well as your number on the side. Some simple sponsors. Even more sponsored car. And a rustic version. In terms of grease spray, we have three options. This changes the whole body of the car. A secondary. Changes right around the rim of the lights. See those changing right there. Just cycling it through quickly for you guys to see. Doesn't seem to change anything else. Just that. Trim color. Well, that changes the entire trim. As you would expect. Roof options. This changes it to the secondary color roof. We have a carbon roof, wood, vinyl. I guess to match the interior. Sticker bomb, we got that checkered board. This car can sell, you can resell this car for $216,000. We have some skirts which is nice but they don't seem to add that much to the width of the car spoilers on a mini oh we got a nice little roof right there we got that with some skis with a surfboard some luggage nice little dovetail carbon dovetail little low level spoiler a wing Okay guys, at this point, I'm going to quickly customize this car to my taste as well as max out its performance stats. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Anyway, now that we're finished modifying this car, let's take it around for a little spin. It's unfortunate that if you add those lights to the front, it does not light the car up. They don't light up, sorry. That's what I mean. That kind of sucks. light let me just wrap the car up a little bit for you guys to hear it wasn't blocking traffic guys believe me wasn't blocking that traffic. Didn't see that red light either. I was me purposely trying to spin the car out. I wasn't driving properly. Just to see how easy it is. It handles pretty well. Again, if you guys want to see uh, proper lap times as well as top speed testing of this vehicle I would suggest you guys check out Rocky 1222's channel as he will be conducting tests on these vehicles it's a part of his ongoing series 
me personally, I much rather just simply handling it around the city, see how well it can actually get me from point A to point B. The car, as you guys can possibly guess, handles pretty well, but that's possibly due to the fact that it's not the fastest car in the game. It's not that quick. You'll probably reach on the other side of Los Santos in about a good minute. But it really isn't that quick. It can get up there, it seems to get up there, but we can't expect super car speeds from a classic style car, especially this classic car. These cars weren't known for speed, and nor is the Mini Issy that was in the game before, known for, that, for being that quick of a car. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of the Mini SE Classic. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. This car is surely a nice, cute little tiny little guy. May not be the fastest one out there, but sure, you can still get you from point A to point B. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Later dudes.